Good evening, Beaver Nation, and welcome to your Wednesday night edition of the Beaver News. We're glad to have you with us. I'm Mackenzie Allen. And I'm Chris Sett. A bill proposed uh, would allow undocumented Oregon students fulfilling certain requirements to attend and pay resident tuition at Oregon universities. Kay Lahar of the Daily Barometer reports that Senate Bill 742 is sponsored by several Oregon senators and representatives and outlines a system to allow students who are not citizens of the United States and students whose guardians are not citizens of the United States to pay resident tuition at Oregon Institutes of Higher Education. To qualify, students must have received a diploma from an Oregon high school no more than three years before applying to college and attended an Oregon school at least three years immediately preceding the receipt of diploma. The bill proposes that such students be exempt from non-resident tuition for a maximum of five years and that the policy go into effect beginning in fall term 2012. OSU President Ed Ray said he has supported charging undocumented students resident tuition since he came to OSU in 2003 and that undocumented students who are unable to attend college because they must pay non-resident tuition represent a lost opportunity. March 7th and 8th, Kappa Alpha Theta Sorority, in partnership with Postini Pasteria, will be hosting Pasta for Casa. For those two days, Postini will donate 50% of their net proceeds from anyone who dines in or orders out and mentions Pasta for Casa. Casa, court-appointed special advocates, is a national organization that supports children that have been removed from their homes due to abuse and neglect and placed in foster care. The goal of CASA is to support these children and keep them from becoming a victim of the legal system and to make sure that they are placed in safe and healthy homes. For more information on this event, contact Maria Matthews at the email below. And for more information on the work that CASA does, check them out at casaforchildren.org. Nobel Peace Prize nominee Sheila Watt Clotier presented Everything is Connected Environment, Economy, Foreign Policy, Sustainability, Human Rights, and Leadership in the 21st Century at 7 p.m. in LaSalle Stewart Center. Kim Kenny of the Daily Barometer reports that her talk will be the eighth of nine lectures in the annual Idea Ma Ideas Matter lecture series, coordinated by the Department of Philosophy at Oregon State University, under the topic Responsibilities to Future Generations. Wa Clotier will speak of the profound challenges threatening the Inuit culture in the Arctic connection to the wider world. A Canadian Inuit herself, Wa Clotier has worked with local and national government to ban organic pollutants and was an influential voice to start the first international petition regarding climate change. She will not only address the problems facing her people, but also how these problems are connected to and fit within a larger global vision. As she puts it, quote, People see this issue from an angle of science, economics, or politics, but never see it from a human perspective. As part of Recycle Mania, Oregon State's annual Recycled Fashion Show will be taking place tomorrow in the MU Ballroom, according to the university. Titled Dumpsters to Diamonds, event organizers in the OSU Fashion Organization are confident that this year's show will bring in a record amount of spectators. Tickets went on sale for $5 on February 28th, and will continue to be sold in the MU Quad until 2 p.m. tomorrow. The show will start promptly at 7 p.m. and run until 9 p.m., but organizers recommend arriving early to find a good seat. For more information about the Recycled Fashion Show and other Recycle Mania events, contact Andrea Norris of Campus Recycling at andrea.norris at oregonstate.edu. 